Well, it comes as no surprise there has been a nearly universal change in public expressions of religious speech when it comes to something as simple as wishing fellow Americans a Merry Christmas. The most common thing we hear these days, of course, is the politically correct Happy Holidays. Now, this took decades of programming, but does it really matter what we say when it comes to what we believe or celebrate? Have you ever thought about this or have you just gone along with it? I'm David Fiorazzo and this is Christ and Culture. Just like they did in Europe, the left in America wants to silence the church and create a completely secular society. Sadly, many Christians may not realize that enemies of God are much more committed to furthering their ideas than believers are to the gospel. If we won't stay silent, the left prefers we stay behind closed doors. Now, the activist mob has worked tirelessly to make the Christmas greeting a thing of the past. Government, public schools, corporations, for example, have long recommended using phrases such as holidays or saying winter break in place of Christmas break. But the truth is, the hinge of history rests on the door of a stable in Bethlehem. One excuse we often hear for not mentioning the birth of Jesus is, not everyone celebrates Christmas. Obviously, right? Well, you might want to say, not everyone celebrates homosexuality or Pride Month either, but that doesn't stop them. Think about the double standards here. Humanists and progressives have injected repulsive sexual ideas and LGBTQ ideology into practically every aspect of public school curriculum and culture. And yet, they claim to have a problem with saying the name of a federal holiday, Christmas, out loud. Hollywood Democrats and those in charge of social media and the entertainment industry have also done their part. What do I mean? In just four hours of television viewing last week, I took out a notepad and jotted down quotes and slogans from various TV commercials on different channels. Here's a partial list of what I wrote down, what I heard. Ready? This holiday, season's greetings, holiday sale, the great holiday bake-off, just in time for the holidays, get festive, the holidays are here, home for the holidays, your holiday shopping all in one place, Experience the magic of Winterfest. The holidays start with you. Save on thousands of gifts for everyone on your list. All decorated for the holiday season. Looking for the perfect present? Epic holiday deals. Tis the season. We have a gift card for everyone on your holiday list. It's a holiday spectacular. It's the most wonderful time of the year. This holiday, they don't call it programming for nothing. Have you picked up on this? We're witnessing the decades-long whitewashing of the true meaning of Christmas and the purposeful dismantling of Christian influence in the public square. This isn't merely neutrality towards religion. It is clearly hostility toward the only living God, Jesus Christ. Surveys, though, indicate the majority of people, Americans, do not oppose mentioning Christmas public displays or expressions of biblical history. Plus, it's protected by the First Amendment. Author and conservative talk show host Dennis Prager says opponents of Merry Christmas know exactly what they're doing. They are disingenuous when they dismiss those who warn about a war on Christianity. Dennis Prager said this, quote, I'm a non-Christian. I'm a Jew. Christmas is therefore no more a religious holy day for me than Ramadan, but I am an American, and Christmas is a national holiday of my country. It is therefore my holiday, though not my holy day as much as it is for my fellow Americans who are Christian. Now that's tolerance. Lest you think I'm majoring in the minors here, that it's just more inclusive to give general holiday greetings, or that the left poses no real threat to our religious freedoms, Evidence of hostility to the Christian worldview are increasing. Evidence is increasing. In the past five years, the Family Research Council analyzed a significant increase of violence and threats against Christian churches and pro-life centers in the U.S. 
In the last four years alone, there have been more than 420 acts of hostility against U.S. churches, including arson, vandalism, death threats, gun-related incidents, and more. But let's pause here, so because we know all this, I hope. I want to remind you of the good news of this season. The true story hasn't ended, and there's still time to get your life right with God and be saved. The Word became flesh, and Christ radically transformed human history. Pastor John MacArthur put it this way, If we could condense all the truths of Christmas into only three words, these would be the words, God with us. We tend to focus our attention at Christmas on the infancy of Christ. The greater truth of the holiday is his deity. More astonishing than a baby in the manger is the truth that this promised baby is the omnipotent creator of the heavens and the earth. Jesus, our Emmanuel, God with us. So the Bible is true. He is returning soon. And Christ always will be the reason for the season. God bless you. Merry Christmas. And keep speaking the truth about things that matter.